Shit, where did that go? You'll be kidding me. Right thing. <laughs> you prick. <laughs> this is a weird one, weird angles. Okay. Let me put a fitting on here. Give me a break, would you? Sticking out just a little too far, I think. Oh yeah, that looks good. That's good. It's exciting. So, I just wanna put some stuff on this. So I'm going to tighten it down good, even though it has a thing. I'll put a little stuff. Just because it's up inside there, you know, a little thread sealant. And I don't want to leak in the car. Even though it has a flared fitting on it. Was I going to shorten something? Was there a longer or a shorter hind joint that you needed in order to level off the pedals? I feel like I remember you talking about that. I know what I can do real quick. This will fix it. But then I'm worried if there's enough throw. That's what I was worried about. Damn it. Well, uh, see, this is one of those decisions, Katie, that I know I'm going to make the wrong one. Because if I put it in, if I cut this one and make it to this length, which I believe I already tested, I believe this has enough travel. Oh no, I don't. The, the thing I feel like is I'm damned if I do and I'm damned. I don't want to take the time to go do it, go buy one and come back and go, fuck, I had to cut this one. I didn't have to take the time to go buy one and I could have just put them in after I cut this one. Welcome to the world of custom. You know what I'm saying? It really so. doesn't have to do with you. So what just because you think the world revolves around you. <laughs> It does, Cody. <laughs> uh, so then clarifying the, are you kind of, is it like a Goldilocks situation where a longer hind joint may be slightly too long? Yeah. The one that you have may be slightly too short? Well, you can see the difference in the pedals right here. Yeah. So I had to make the, the slave cylinder work to fit in here properly to give clearance for the gauges. Okay. So in doing so, I had to change the length of the shaft, which changes the length of the throw, but I still have enough throw for the slave cylinder to work properly. You know what I mean? Yes. So now then, do I do the same here, not knowing if I install this thing if I know I can get the proper throw, but I don't want it to hit the floor, the floor. before it goes through its motion. Yeah. You know what I mean? So the only option I have right now is cut this heim joint, put it to where it's even, which isn't far. And I know I've already tested this and it has plenty of clearance. So if I have put it to where it should be and I still have plenty of throw in the master, I should be fine. 
So I'm going to do that. Okay. And if it's not, well, I guess I got to pull it back out and I got to put a longer heim joint on the clutch one. So okay. that's where I'm at with that. Now this is not something in particular you could have anticipated and dealt with. No, it's custom. So it's one of those things. Put it in, take it out. Put it in, take it out. Put it in. Some of this stuff is just so awkward too to hold it in place. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. Mm, looks about right. What a juggling act. Man. Perfect. Now let's see how my throw is looking. I think it's going to be okay, I hope. See, it just puts it toward, more towards the floor. What is your going to be, what's going to be the test, the litmus test for you to be able to know whether or not it has enough throw? Put it, put it in the car. That's the, that's the only litmus test? Well, I want to feel that, see the master stops right there. Correct. So I want to feel the master stop before this before, hits the floor. Okay, there we go. So if I can do that. Yeah, see, cause it just moved it. What I just did moved it closer to the floor and that's scary because you, yeah, you don't want it to. You don't want it to hit the floor. No, before cause you need the master to, to have full, so <laughs> yeah. And the clutch as well. Yeah, you don't really want the pedal to hit the floor before yeah. the brake hits the wheel. I've done them. I've been all happy. Put it in the car, and you're like, you're bleeding the clutch. You notice it's hitting the floor, but you don't realize that it's not going all the way. Yeah. And just that little tiny, like, three sixteenths of an inch made all the difference in the world. It's crazy. Okay, well, I think I'm ready. Let me tighten these up. I need my nine sixteenths. All right. Okay, here goes nothing. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like the way it's rubbing. Very strange. That's the way it's gotta go, so. I think I'm gonna put it like that because it should sit on the ball of the heim, you know what I mean? The other way it was sitting on the housing of the heim and that'll cause, you know, rubbing and... Oh yeah, that's better. I like that. Okay, I'm glad I did it. It's almost straight, perfectly straight. The other way it was at an angle. Let me stretch this one out. Oh, get ready to... Okay. Oh, yeah. That's a big unit to try and fit up in this small little hole. <laughs> okay. Please, baby Jesus. Just make it fit. The first try. Yeah, right. <clears throat> the custom fitting gods are laughing at me right now. I can't even get my foot out from underneath the door. <laughs> Come on, door. All right, here goes nothing, Katie. I feel like 
you had to almost go worth it, bird, like horizontal like that and then turn it. You might be right. But this is catching. Okay, I see. <laughs> yes. Oh, God. Thank you, Katie. There we go. It just popped into place. Oh no. Why wasn't that an issue before? Huh. I see an issue. What the heck? I have to take care of it. Damn it. See? I could probably get it in, but I need room. to take the cap off for the brake, the master cylinder to put fluid in it. What was the issue? Uh, there's the old vent thing and it's hitting the top of this. You can see it's hitting right here. It's crazy just changing it that little bit. Sand those a little bit, cut that out, and then we'll try it again. This seemed to be putting more pressure on the back of the gauge, and I don't want to fuck up the gauges. And I'm a little concerned because the pedals looked really close to the floor. 